All right, so today we're actually gonna build me a new computer. It's not gonna be for gaming, but mostly for editing workstation stuff to help edit the videos on the channel. This is my current work desktop inside the Fractal Design Define Mini C. And up until recently, it's performed pretty well. The processor is an AMD Ryzen Threadripper 1950X. So that's a 16 core CPU. It's being cooled by an Enermax Slick Tech 2, I think, the TR4 model, obviously. And this cooler has started to sort of act funny. I'm getting really high temperatures, like up into the 80s and 90s um, when I'm rendering. Didn't used to do that when I first installed everything. Now, I could very well just swap out the cooler and call it a day, and I'm sure everything would be perfectly fine, except the fact that Premiere Pro crashes almost daily. I, I just keep thinking back to that Hardware Connects video from Dimitri where he was talking about his uh, sort of instability issues with Premiere and AMD CPUs. And once he switched over to Intel, things were better. So I'm gonna give that a shot. But yeah, let me show you guys exactly the parts that I'll be using for the new build. Pretty beefy, pretty, pretty beefy. All right, so it's this sort of wall of crap here. So we're gonna be swapping out an AMD Ryzen Threadripper for Intel Skylake X, Core i9-7960X, also 16 cores. It's a little on the pricey side, but I've already got one lying around, so might as well put it to work. That'll be dropping into an MSI Meg X299 creation. This motherboard is absolutely nuts. It also has a ton of connectivity, quad channel memory support, all those great things you get with the platform. I've got some pretty awesome RAM to go along with that. This is the G-Skill Trident Z Royal. This is the silver, not the gold, right? Yeah, see the S on the end? So we've got four sticks here running at 3200 speed. Uh, it would have been nice to have eight to fully populate that. That would look super sexy, but I'm not gonna complain with 32 gigs. That's what we've got in the current system. Our graphics card is the GeForce GTX 1080 Ti from EVGA. This is their For the Win 3 model, and this thing is still, it still holds its own. And a 1080 Ti is still no slouch here in 2019, despite all of the uh, new Turing GPUs that are popping up and the RTX cards. Plus, this one just kind of matches our theme of being like super silvery. Uh, I'm actually gonna call this the Crystal RGB build. Also kind of a throwback to the Crystal RGB sketch that I did a while back. Like some of the other parts here, it wasn't really seeing much action, so uh, I'm gonna be giving it a new home here. Powering the system is a Corsair RM1000i 80 plus gold certified unit, fully modular, 1000 watts, because, because this thing draws a lot of power. It's not the most power efficient chip, especially if we're gonna plan to overclock it, so Nice to have a little bit of overhead there. Cooling our 16 cores is the H15i RGB Platinum from Corsair. Pretty sure this is their flagship AIO at the moment. It's actually a 280 millimeter radiator and it comes included with two of the ML Pro RGB fans. So they perform as good as they look. We also have a six, six ML120 Pro fans they've also thrown in. So three of them are gonna go at the bottom of the case, three more at the front kind of side. And then we, of course we have, we have these two uh, that are gonna be exhausting hot air out the top. So this is the case that we're actually using. It's the Lian Lee PC-011 Dynamic Razor Edition. So you can see we've got uh, some razor branding right there. If my camera will focus, there it is. And some nice little details here. You got the green USB 3.0 ports on the front. Now storage is pretty important here because it's an editing system. System. So uh, I've got a couple different drives for, for various tasks. We got a boot drive. This is our WD SN 750. Look at those random reads, three and a half gigs. Woo! So that's the 500 gig model. Should be more than enough for our C drive and frequently used applications. We have two four terabyte WD blacks that we're going to be putting in RAID zero. I'm sorry, RAID one uh, for redundancy, where all the backup and stuff's going to go. And as far as our editing drive is concerned, I'm actually repurposing the Samsung 960 Pro two terabyte NVMe M.2 drive. So yeah, this is where I'm going to be capturing most of the fresh raw footage too, and then editing off of this drive. Usually the editing workflow works best if you spread out your work across multiple drives if possible. So this is gonna come in handy to say the least. And that's everything from a personal workstation rig. Very exciting stuff. I put links to everything in the description below guys. So go ahead and check those out if you're interested in any of the products you see here. So let's kick it off to a little time lapse. And once we're all done, we'll have a working system that hopefully doesn't crash in Premiere Pro every 20 minutes. Three, two, one, go.
Ho, it is completo. And it looks, it looks even better than I thought it would. So a couple things about this build. Um, first of all, such a dream case to build in. It was just so easy, so fluid, tons of room for activities and just a very smart layout. You gotta uh, tip your hat to good older Bauer there for helping Lee and Lee design this case from the ground up. But overall, fantastic chassis. Uh, the build just looks absolutely fantastic. You can see those RGB fans just doing their thing. However, these six fans, the three on the bottom and the three on the side here, are actually hooked up to the single Node Pro. However, that should be wired up to the motherboard via USB 2.0, but I ran out of USB 2.0 headers because there's only two headers on the board and one of them is being occupied by the AIO, the other is being occupied by the case itself. I overlooked the fact that the case requires a USB 2.0 header to drive and power up the LEDs that you see here, which looks very nice. The under glow lighting as well. So these are not actually connected to the board and I can't configure them within the IQ software and stuff. So that's gonna come at a later time. Probably not worth a dedicated video, but if you guys wanna follow me on social media, either at BitwitKyle on Twitter or Instagram, I'll probably be posting some updated images of the system with different color schemes once everything's all configured and uh, looking pretty. So uh, go ahead and follow me there. But the other amazing thing about the ML Pro fans is that they're so quiet. Like there's so much air pumping through here. Like I can feel it all around. Three, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight fans in this build and the side panels off it is so quiet so that's my new workstation pc guys let me know what you think about crystal rgb in the comments below give me your honest feedback i'm always curious to hear your thoughts as always also like on the video if you enjoyed it get subscribed for more tech stuff coming at you real real soon and i will see y'all in the next video